Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey guys, I'm here with my commander with an updated cooling modification and this one actually works. Any of you who have been following the release of the commander from day one will know that this is a hot running wheel. And when I first got this particular wheel, the demo wheel, uh, I learned that, that really quickly. And, um, and Extreme Bow actually uh, released a fix that was supposed to dramatically improve the, the temperature on this wheel. <laughs> uh, which essentially did nothing and I'll, I'll post a link to that uh, testing where where I did this but essentially you have these pre-existing little slots that let air in underneath the control board and their fix was to draw out some holes in the back here in the speaker module area remove the speaker module grind out a bigger opening in the inside shell and I was supposed to allow air to flow and it was going to be running running cool <laughs> and I did that and um, we did my test and it had essentially no effect I even removed the light module and uh, taped it up so about half this chamber was open open f pushing air on inside and it still did very little uh, wheel overheats. I think the issue internally is uh, there's a I think this relatively small heat sink on the control board and then the the there's just too much air constriction internally there's um, even if you open up these areas here there is an internal shell curved part of the shell for the wheel well and I think it just constricts the air too much and no matter how much air you try and f push in there with the poor um, heat sink design it it just continues to run hot so i recently got around to uh, putting aside some time to implement my passive cooling mod because i hate fans i've always hated fans when they first started coming out in wheels that's why i love the current king song design where like the s18 s20 S22, no fans. They just have a huge heat sink that sits out in the air, and um, those are super cool running wheels. Uh, so with my cooling mod, uh, I did test this this past weekend, one of my um, hundred mile mountain rides, uh, where at the beginning I'm climbing over six thousand feet continuously and uh, where this wheel has overheated in the past and wow did it run cool basically i'm seeing with, with this mod uh, temperature drops up between 20 and 30 degrees celsius that's huge uh, it actually makes the commander one of the coolest running wheels that you can get and when the temperature a lot of that ride I was doing, the temperature was actually below the fan turn-on uh, temperature. So the wheel is just running passively, no, no fan running, uh, which you gotta love. So uh, let me pull you in closer and I'll show you uh, what I did. Let me remove this low residue duct tape, which is uh, part of the mod. And you'll be able to more clearly see what I've done. You can see that I have drilled two holes adjacent to the power button and they're about three quarters of an inch in diameter. And in the rear, I also drilled a three quarter inch hole right in the center. And the final part of the mod, which I think you can probably see what's going on here now, is put this duct tape over this top part. Now the duct tape is kind of a temporary solution but uh, I think you can see what's going on here. By closing this up 
it turns this into one giant air scoop which forces the air up here without this and the air tends to flow right out and not as much goes gets into these holes but when you cover this it just rams air right into these two holes and then the air flows through this over the flows washes the top of the control board and just turns this chamber into uh, ambient air <laughs> and uh, dramatically lowers the temperature. Now of course there are times when you probably don't want holes <laughs> in your wheel when it's uh, raining or perhaps in really dusty uh, trail conditions. So what I did is I fabricated three round plugs out of foam. I used um, yoga block foam. And uh, when I need to do that, I will just plug that in there. Got uh, another one on the front, and of course I have one in the back too. And uh, and you're good to go. I feel pretty. For me, I'm not going to be riding this in the rain, so um, I'm not sure if these would be fully uh, keep the water out, but they'll definitely keep the dust out, which would be my primary. Uh, use case. Now if you don't want to make little plugs to uh, seal up these holes when you're uh, uh, riding in the rain or really dusty conditions then uh, use duct tape. Now I use this uh, low residue duct tape in the United States. I buy this from Home Depot. It's basically a, a very extremely cheap version of gaffer's tape. And gaffer's tape is a duct, kind of looks like duct tape used in the movie industry a lot, taping down cables and wiring so people don't trip over all that kind of stuff. But it doesn't leave any residue. And this stuff, this uh, 3M, yeah, 3M low residue duct tape, no residue, uh, works fantastic. And I actually uh, put a bunch of it on a roll, a little uh, PVC tube, and I carry this with me on my rides in my backpack. And uh, you, you could do something like that. Just carry some of this around, and uh, conditions change. Tear off a little piece, put, a, put over the holes. Personally, if I were riding in, in the rain, on any of these kind of wheels with all the electronics up at the top, uh, I would just make a, a plastic bonnet that you can slip over the top and, and then, you know, this is a fantastic, except for the top part, the sides, everything is really well sealed. I'd have no issues with riding it in this wheel in a downpour if I had a little bonnet over the, over the top. Uh, so, uh, and also duct tape has a million and one uses, <laughs> so it's good to carry a little bit around with this with you uh, when you ride. And as far as this ugly uh, part right here, uh, my final solution is probably just gonna, I'm gonna put some Velcro, put a, just a little piece of uh, plastic probably with Velcro, or maybe thin wood, I don't know. I can just uh, Velcro on, on here. Uh, I'm also having plans of making a seat, so the seat structure might uh, cover this hole, but definitely gonna be, covering this with, with uh, something all the time. Now let me show you some of the data from this last uh, ride so you can see the dramatic improvement in cooling on this wheel. This data was collected from EUC World and I'll put a link down in the description so if you want to view this data live yourself uh, feel free to. Here's my ride. It was about a little over a hundred mile ride up in the mountains and at the beginning, I'm climbing from here up to about here it is roughly 6,000 feet. And you can see the elevation profile here in EUC World. And down here is the temperature profile. And if I click, you can see 51 degrees, 48, 
52 and you can see here the dot little dot where I'm I'm traveling so here I'm um, midway up in the during the big climb 52 degrees 50 51 I think the highest I saw was 57 degrees Let's see and that's where normally basically the wheel would be in the high 70s towards overheating I'd have to stop around this area normally and then uh, once I get up to the top start doing more level riding I'm maintaining in the 40s quite often mid 40s here 38 degrees 41 degrees look at this data and right around here where I'm where I'm descending uh, 40 degrees 37 36 35, 33, 31 degrees C, where I'm uh, again descending the mountain. And then when I'm in the flatlands, I'm in the mid to high 30s most of the time. So, uh, very dramatic improvement in temperatures. Uh, normally, this wheel would be riding in the 50s, I would say, during the, on the flats. Uh, so very impressed with this uh, passive cooling mod. Well, there you have it, guys. If you're th own a commander or are thinking about getting a commander, because again, I, I think except for the heating issues, this is one of the uh, best wheels you can get. I, I really like the commander, and it's the longest range wheel on planet Earth that you can get right now. Uh, so if you own one, thinking about getting one, uh, I highly encourage you to do this extremely simple cooling mod. You can get this done in less than half an hour. Very simple, not very intrusive. And, uh, and you will be running a cool wheel. One of the coolest wheels you can actually uh, ride right now. All right, hope this video was uh, useful. And until later, safe riding.